Last week, I was examining a research report, but when I looked the references that are provided in the bibliography, I was surprised to see that the most of the references were fake and potentially generated through AI. So whenever you are using AI for academic writing, you must be conscious. So in this video, I'm going to make the comparison between a chat GPT, which is a general purpose AI tool and the Jenny, which is specifically designed for academic writing. If you are watching me for the first time, my name is Dr. Kamran and you are watching my channel Research and Analysis. For comparison, let me take you to my laptop screen. This is the research report that I was talking about and here you can see in this list, most of the references, they are fake. In order to make a comparison between ChatGPT and Jenny, let me first write a simple prompt on my ChatGPT uh, account. Write literature review on role of AI in hotel industry. Let me just proceed. See, ChatGPT has provided us the literature review on our topic and it has also provided the in-text citations. And in the end, let's see if it has provided us the references in the bibliography. Yes it has provided us all those in-text citations in the bibliography. But we need uh, in APA format, let's just ask, uh, we need APA format. ChatGPT has changed the formatting into APA 7 and it has also provided the DOI numbers for all the references in the bibliography. Now let's just check each of these references one by one to see whether they are real or fake. Let's just open this DOI number first. Open this link. Oh, it's not working. So let's just copy this uh, reference to see whether it's real or not. This is Google Scholar. Let's paste that reference here. Oh, that's great. This is a real citation and you can see the all the details are just same. We can also confirm it from here. But I guess there is a DUI number is not same. You can see it is different, but here you can see a different DUI number. Now let's just move on to next uh, uh, next reference. Let's just copy it and then again, where the best is the best to search through Google Scholar. So again, ah, uh, some of information is just same, but we can see there is a difference in the year of publication. And so uh, this, uh, you can say the second reference is partially incorrect. Now let's move on to third reference. Let's just try to open this DOI. Oh, that's great. This DOI number is working. Can we see the detail is same or the different? 603, um, robotic process automation in hospitality. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the, but there is a problem with this. Although it is leading us to a real journal citation, but problem is the reference that is given here, you can see the title is totally different than this one. And even the, you know, you can see the author's details are also different. So this third reference is completely incorrect. Now let's just try the next one. It seemed to be a, a book reference. Let's just again, scholar. So that's why you can see whenever there is a reference from the book, but most of the time there is no DOI number for a book reference. Here it has provided the details for two of the references, but when we see it is publication year is 2019. Uh, but this is a journal citation and it is showing us this is Emerald uh, Publishing and let's just open it so that we can see the uh, journal name. Hi, we can see uh, here it is a tourism and hospitality, but here is no such information. So again, this reference is also incorrect. In this way, I have examined other references one by one. This was found to be incorrect, 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 partially incorrect and incorrect. Out of these 12 references, only one is completely correct. Two were partially correct and nine were the fake references. In terms of DOI numbers, all of the DOI numbers that are provided uh, in this list were incorrect. 
uh, now let me take you to jenny uh, you can access jenny by using web address jenny.ai so let's just start with the prompt let me write here write literature review on role of ai in hotel industry here we can see three main options to generate outlines we can use standard headings like introduction methods and results and the second thing is we can use smart headings and also we can have the option of no headings at all we, if we do not want to use any of the headings so let's just move on with the second one smart headings see jenny has provided us a list of uh, related headings so let's just start with the introduction we just we need to put our cursor here and it will start suggesting us the text if we feel we are fine with this text simply we will click this accept 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 at any stage if you feel you are not happy with the text you can simply select the uh, send those sentences and here you can see some advanced options including you can see you can add additional citation you can use the option of chat through which you can brainstorm around the topic and you can also improve the writing by using this ai edit and here in order to strengthen your writing you can have multiple options including including the you can improve the fluency you can paraphrase with multiple options you can simplify the text you can strengthen the argument add a counter argument you can change the tenses and so many other options let's just try the option of paraphrase and click academically let's say if we want to make the text more academic we can use this option see jenny has paraphrased our text and it has also provided us the reasoning what changed and why if we are happy with this change we can simply click this replace selection this is how you can write your literature review using jenny and whatever the in-text citation that Jenny has used, you can see the detailed references in the references list. We can confirm the authenticity of these references by clicking their DOI numbers. Let's just click this first one. And it has taken us to the original article. You can see the detail is same and it's an original article. Now let's just click the second one. You can see uh, again a real article so like, this is how we can confirm the authenticity of all the articles that are used by jenny again the original article original article original article with the same details you can see all the references are real with the 100 percent correct DI numbers Based on this experiment, I would like to conclude that although ChatGPT is a powerful general purpose AI tool, but using it for academic writing is very risky when it comes to references and citations. Although ChatGPT can generate text that looks academic, but it may produce inaccurate and or even the fabricated references. In contrast, the tools like Jenny are specifically designed for research writing and provide verified correct references, which is critical for academic work. So therefore, I would uh, recommend the students and researchers who value accuracy, credibility, and academic integrity, they should use uh, specialized tools like Jenny. I hope this video will be helpful. Thanks for watching.